It really is if you have a mental health crisis, uh, we have 24-7 staff who are out and about. There's a lot of community discussion surrounding mental health. But the more we learn about it, the more we discover that it should be given just as much specialized attention and care as our physical health. Jackson County offers many resources for caring for the specific mental health needs in our community. Hi, I'm Bill Mance with Jackson County Close-Up, and I'm here with Stacy Brubaker. Stacy is the Division Manager of the Mental Health Division here at Jackson County Health and Human Services. We're talking to her today to get an idea of what kind of help Jackson County offers people with mental health related issues. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. What services does Jackson County's mental health uh, provide people here in Jackson County? So the county by statute is the local mental health authority, also known as the community mental health program. So by statute, we're responsible for the mental health crisis response in the community. We also get additional dollars from the state of Oregon to deliver some additional services besides crisis. So we really do a lot of work in the suicide prevention arena. Uh, lucky to be a part of that grant and we've really had some good outcomes from that and then we also are working on our jail diversion services really trying to figure out new ways to deal with people who have mental health challenges that are involved with the criminal justice system and uh, really trying to figure out new ways with the sheriff and as well as uh, community justice as ways that we can really meet where our nexus for those folks are and really try to hopefully quit uh, the revolving door that often has uh, people with mental health challenges going in and out of jail. It has two goals, right? One is to really try to reduce the stigma of those folks that come in and out of jail and, and just mental health in general. And then the other is to really try to make it so that their mental illness isn't a criminalizing factor in their lives, that we're really giving them opportunities for treatment rather than further and further down the line for criminal involvement. Who has access uh, to the resources that are available for uh, mental health here? So for crisis services, those are available to anybody in the county. Uh, we don't ask for insurance. We don't ask who your insurance carrier is. It really is if you have a mental health crisis, uh, we have 24-7 staff who are out and about and respond uh, to the hospital. They go out with law enforcement. They go to the Moore Center, uh, really doing what they need to do out in the community to really try to respond to mental health. We've only been doing um, the mobile response for about four, maybe five five years okay. uh, and it really has made a difference in our uh, response and and how we help people more on their doorstep rather than making them go through the full uh, avenue of having to get in a police car and get taken to the hospital and so that's been really effective and we plan on really growing that over the next couple of years really being able to hone in on the things we are responsible for as a county so if somebody's in crisis how do they connect with the mental health department here so we have a crisis line which is available 24-7 and that's 541-774-8201.